Drain Man here, and today I have a very exciting video. In today's video, we are going to be building the all new, the brand new Grinderino by Bot Grinder and Umagod. <laughs> you are not going to want to miss this. Let's go! <laughs> All right, pilots. So here's the deal. When it comes to frames and bot grinder, <laughs> we have had a great, great run. Quite a long time ago, I built this frame here, and I will link the video for you down in the video description. This one was by BQE, and it was the original bot grinder, and I still have it, and I still fly it, and it is still intact. Well, not too long ago, he dropped the Demi bot, and I, I mean, I think all of us were blown away by the amount of strength and durability that this frame has, and that is this bad boy, Right, yeah. I have been nothing but impressed with this frame. I built it, I loved building it, and I love flying it. And I still have it, and I still use it, and it still works great. So you can only imagine my surprise and excitement when I found out that he dropped a micro demi bod called the Grinderino. We are gonna do a full build video, and then we're gonna take this guy to the sky. I cannot wait. So let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. So first up, we've got our frame, and it comes in this cool package with this like little baby bot. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Let's go ahead and get everything out and see what we're working with. Woo-hoo! All right, so there's our contents. So you've got everything you need to put this frame together. And that's our mid plate, top plate, bottom plate, four arms, and a pack of screws, and the cutest little battery straps just absolutely ever. Here's the deal about the frame. Bot Grinder himself has built this frame and showed you how to assemble it. So just like the Demi Bot, I'm not going to show you how to put the frame together because the master already did it. So why mess with a good thing? I'm going to go ahead and just assemble this bad boy, and then we'll go over it. Hey, <laughs> pilots, check this puppy out. I mean, this isn't the cutest little grinder Reno you've ever seen. Look at that. It is a full size Demi Bot. Where's my Demi Bot? Look at this. It is a little baby Demi Bot. Look at the bottom. <laughs> it's identical, but it's so little. I love it. I'm super excited about this. I tell you what, I put it together in like five minutes. Bot's video was perfect. He did a magic trick with a screw through the bottom, and that was it. Tag with the four medium-sized screws in them, do a magic trick, put one of them through your bottom plate, put that little block on that screw, then screw it into your mid plate. This is the mid plate now. So everything on this frame is absolutely awesome, and it looks totally solid. They did do 3D printing for the camera mounting. You'll notice the black 3D prints right here. I put them on but I don't know how that's going to do with my yes I went with the DJI 03 because I wanted to ball out on my grinderino so with that being said as you can see from the OG to the demi bot I rocked all green dark green on my 3d prints so of course I had to continue the tradition <laughs> with green 3D prints. All right, pilots, boom! As I have already mentioned, I went all out on the ball out and my order is here from my FPV store. Let's check this out. Let me show you what I went with. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Eh! <laughs> Woo -hoo! All right, pilots, so first up, Two brand new 1100 Bosch packs. These are amazing six cell batteries. I don't know if you've ever tried them. I'll put a link for you down in the video description. You're gonna wanna try these. Oh, what is this? My FPV store practice soldering board. Listen, I'm one of the best solderers you know. Now, motor game, but they're absolutely gorgeous, and they're 1507, 2800 KV, flat rat V2s by Ethics. That is gonna be the motors we're gonna run right there. Look at that. Tell me that don't look beautiful. 
So that's our motor choice for our Stizak. You already know I wanted to run an AIO. I thought it was absolutely genius that Umagod and Bot Grinder decided to put 25 by 25 because a lot of times on smaller stuff or even full size stuff, I want to run an AIO. It's just, I, I, I like them. So this guy here is the F7 Speedy B 35 amp all in one flight controller. It is packed with features and due to it being a Speedy B, it'll have to Bluetooth capability that I'm looking for when I'm out in the field and I want to make some quick changes on the fly. And last up, but because I'm running an O3, I will need my receiver. I don't like the radio that came with this. I don't want to use it. And even if I had it, I wouldn't. I, I just wouldn't. So I am going to run my ever so beautiful. Bam! I'm going to use my BEA Utiful Radio Master TX16S V4 Max with the AOG Hall Sensor Gimbals. God, that, 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 that. Tell me that's not beautiful. Look at that Ranger. So the first thing I want to do with this frame before I go put non-electronics and stacks and motors and everything else is I want to outfit it with my beautiful green TPU that I printed myself. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this on right now. <laughs> All right, very simple step, but I went ahead and laced it up. Okay, so as you can see, I quickly connected. If I move it around, it's working just fine. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy mounted. All right, stack is prepped and ready to go. We're going to set this aside, and guess who's up on the lizard? We're not going to solder it up just yet, but... I do need it open so I can check mounting and make sure everything is going to work seamlessly. Oh lordy, that's a problem. Okay, so word to the wise, if you didn't know, you cannot run an O3 air unit mounting 25 by 25. Oh man. <laughs> I'm going to run the Speedy B F7 Mini Stack. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I have a full video review on it. I will go ahead and link that video for you down in the video description. All right, pilots, so there you go, okay? I had to remove the straw thingy that comes with the antenna, but I got it in and mounted. Look at that. It's looking good. We're going to try to put one of the Immortal T's right here, but there you go. I've looped it up and over. I'm going to probably mount the receiver here. We'll just have to see how that goes. So what we want to do now is, unfortunately, I had to come out of the AIO, and I am now into this mini stack. But the good news is it does fit. If I wiggle it on right here, boom, you can see that's going to look fantastic. And then I'll put my motors on and wrap them around. So what I want to do now is go ahead and get my motors mounted because that's what's going to get us to this next step. So let's get my first motor on, and then I'll take care of the rest. So one screw in. And what's cool is this frame actually comes with motor mounting screws. Now I did get screws with the motors too because these are flat rats and they're nice, but I don't need them because the frame came with them. Boom, so you slide those in and then fourth one or third one. I'm gonna use all four. Umagod did design an awesome motor and as you notice, you've got six holes here. Uh -huh. Super cool, and that is to compensate or to accommodate, I should say, uh, his special motor. I think it's like an 1803 or 1806, but it's, it's really cool. It's a cool motor. They're just not in stock or else, honestly, I'd be running them. So I went with some flat rats. The beauty of that. <laughs> All right, that looks good. All right, and then what happens, just so you're fully aware, okay, now you put your monster foot on <laughs> you've got the cutout so it's not all bulgy and weird look at that <laughs> and then we pass a zip tie through these little holes right here and it holds everything together and snug and nice <laughs> i'm excited but all right let's go ahead and get all four done Ooh, woo. <laughs> look at that bad baby right ya Look at that, that came together so nice. Look at that, green on green on green. You got your stack on me. We got our antenna, O3 stack, camera. Man, that's looking good. So I just need to wire up a couple things and we on on our way. 
All right, so what I want to do real quick is I'm going to just grab the motor wires just like this, and then I'm going to wrap them around, and I'm going to solder them right there. Come back in with the solder, and we're going to tin them. And if we have to change motor direction, we'll do that inside of Betaflight. So now that all three are nice and straight, I'm going to grab some of my infamous Maxwell tape. All right, pilots, I'm getting excited because we are getting close. So let me show you what we got. I went ahead and wrapped up the four motors. There was no sense in having you watch me do all of them. But as you can see, I wrapped them around, I tied them in, and then I put a little bit of uh, tape on them, a little bit of Maxwell tape, and it is looking good. While I was at it, don't be upset, I went ahead and put on my XT60. Uh, when we were running the AIO, I had an XT30. For this, it's going to be XT60, which is what I designed with these Bosch batteries anyways. Yeah, that's totally upside down. With the Bosch batteries anyways. This ain't a very big drone. I mean, this guy's tiny as you can see. Well, three and a half is not real tiny, but it ain't big. So I didn't have space for a Mongo size capacitor. So I've got a 470, I believe, and it is a 35 volt. 470 microfarads with 35 volt range. And I went ahead and extended the leads and you can see I wrapped it around and tied it in. So once my top plate goes on, you really won't see nothing. It's tucked, it's nice, it's hidden. So my USB-C is right here. Unfortunately, that's gonna face this way and I don't have any other options because I could not run my XT60 to the back. I needed to come out the side. So that means this inherently becomes to the side or to the back, but not a big deal. It's Bluetooth capable. So once I do my initial setup, all I'll have to do is Bluetooth, which as you saw in the AIO, takes a jiffy and works great. One and two. Now we're going to imagine it's connected there. I may have to lift up on that again. We'll find out as we get closer. And I'm going to come in and loop around just like that. We've got our ground. We've got our TX2 and RX2 just like that. If it's RX, it connects to TX. If it's TX, it connects to RX. Air unit is in and done and it's wired as well. You can't say that ain't beautiful. All right, so what I like to do is get my antennas where they're going. So I'm going to pop this one off. Boom. And I want to feed it up under here because this has this really cool thing. I didn't show you, did I? Up under here. So it looks like a perfect closed loop. I don't know if you can see that. But if you grab it, bam, pops open. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed an antenna up through there. Look at that, huh? And now you can't open it. <laughs> Dude, shout out to the guy who designed this. You want one that's going this way and you want one that's going that way. That's the idea behind it. But I mean, it's not a long range quad, although I can use it as one. That's not my intention. So I'm not going to die if I can't have what I want. You know, I'll, I'll be fine if I stuck one to the bottom of the foot. I like doing that all the time. Those are some good wires right there. We're going to save that. And then I will tin them and strip them. Not sure if you can see that, but there's a lot going on on this. I know it ain't that much, but <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. All right, so now we're up for a power up test. I'm going to plug in my XT60 lead so I can clamp on my power supply. We are at 22 volts. So I'm going to connect ground. And I'll connect power. Beautiful startup. Beautiful startup. Wow. Looky here, pilots. Damn, I'm impressed. Look at the monster feet. We've got the uh, padding for the top plate, padding for the bottom plate, matching uh, mounts. Oh, I need to peel my, my plastic on my camera. Watch this. Oh, grinderino. All right, pilot, so there it is, the Grindarino, 100% done and ready. All I got to do is plug it into the PC. I'm going to set up my flight controller, get all of my, my rates, my specs, my stats, all the stuff that I want, my OSD, make sure everything is on and working. Then I'm going to take my O3 air unit, connect it, 
If it needs to be flashed, flash it. If not, bind it to my goggles. Then I'm gonna take my ELRS receiver and I'm gonna use my video. If you need help with your ELRS receiver or radio or both, Make sure you watch my video. I'll put it down in the video description. I want to give a shout out to Bot. He did this awesome clip in front of his video. Check this out. Hey, pilots! What the fuck? <laughs> I thought that was funny. I thought that was awesome. Shout out, Bot. And I don't think it's going to fly like a micro. I think she's going to fly like a full size. But with the weight, oh, weight. I'm about to say the weight of a 250. We don't know till we check this out. Let me go get the scale. We are at zero grams. Now this is all up weight, no battery. Oh, 238. So I'm not really worried about sub 250. That's up to you, me, eh. I just wanna fly what flies good. I wanna fly what feels good. And I wanna fly something that's not gonna break every single crash. Knowing bot, this thing's gonna be pretty damn durable. No way, play no games No way, play no games 